whether it's a teammate, whether it's uh, uh, another football player, another basketball player, baseball, it doesn't really matter. You know, you hate to see this happen to anyone. You know, and uh, that's just it. You know, we all we all make mistakes. You know, but uh, like I said it's just sad to see. That's, that's what I know of him. You know, he's been he's, he comes to work every day and works hard. Uh, and outside of here, I don't know him very well, but he comes to work every day and practices hard and plays hard. That's, that's all I know of him. He's a friendly guy. He's always been really friendly. Uh, says hi in the hallway every time you walk by him. You know, I walk by him ten times a day in the hallway. He still says hi every time. So, you know, he's a good guy from, from what I know of him being in the building. Tons of drugs. I'm just shocked about the situation. You know, it's a situation that you don't. I don't want anybody to be in, especially a close friend, uh, a teammate that I've been playing with now for four or five years now. So, uh, especially a guy from Texas uh, with a wife and daughter. So, uh, it's tough for me uh, just because I'm not into drugs or anything like that. But I know it has to be tough for him because he has his family uh, as a choice that he made. And, uh, you know, you have to. There's consequences with the choices that you that you make.